rolling into Campo. This is it. All right, must be Campo. Okay, this is uh, Burn Campo at, uh, I don't know the name of the restaurant or diner, but our very last meal before we hit the trail. Um, Euro fries, giant Diet Coke. So, anyway, only a few minutes away from start the trail. Holy cow, I can't believe my eyes. After all these years, there it is, right in front of us. So, what do you think? We made it. <laughs> okay, so this is the famous or infamous border wall here at the monument protecting us from all those scary Mexicans. Let's uh, take a look through there and see what Mexico looks like, shall we? Woo wee, man, thank God for the wall, eh? Let's get back to America. Okay, so I'm walking back to the monument, which is kind of up there at the top of the hill, and they've got a uh, four strand, five strand barbed wire fence between where I am right now and the road separating the wall. But what's kind of weird is you can know, see the thing, thing's got chicken wire from four feet down all the way to the ground. So apparently they don't even want any of those damn Mexican rabbits sneaking across the border. Uh. So there's plenty of nice wind noise in this. Thea signing in. Many years of dreaming, planning. It's hard to believe that we're we're standing right here at the monument, getting ready to start the adventure of a lifetime. So shall we? Let's head to Canada. 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 Coming up on the first water source at about mile 2.6, I think. Um, pretty good water flow. Kind of nasty on this side, <laughs> but uh, nice deep pool over here. We started out from Campo with um, two liters of water each, and it's actually a really cool day. It's only about 54 degrees, I think. So we've hardly used any water right now, so we're just gonna keep on trucking. rain clouds are really looking threatening so I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be able to hike before we're going to need to either set up camp or at least throw on our rain jackets. Okay we just stopped for a break here at mile 4.4. Um, there's a really good water source behind us. I mean it's it's coming down there really well so 
Um, not sure how long that's going to last, but anybody that comes by over the next week or two, I'm sure you're going to have plenty of water here. Um, trail right now has been great, actually better than I expected, uh, based upon reports from other people who had said that the first 15, 20 miles of the trail can be really hilly. Um, yeah, there's a few spots where it's hilly, some ups and downs, but for the most part, it's been relatively uh, flat and uh, well-maintained, <coughs> easy to walk on, so um, having a great time so far, and we both feel good. We are set up camp for the night, um, the end of day number one. We made it six miles today, which was not bad considering we had a late start. We didn't even start hiking from the monument until 1.30. And uh, it was pretty overcast. It actually started to sprinkle on us at one point. So we decided to just go ahead and uh, stop there and, and pitch the tent while we still were dry. Um, so the tent's kind of swing around. Right behind us there, that's where we are. We got a nice little flat spot and you've actually got a a really nice view out all the way around us and um, we've only seen one other hiker since we started which is really surprising I thought there'd be tons of people out here I mean there were permits for 50 people a day to start so uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't all start ahead of us so I can only conclude that there's a lot fewer than 50 people starting because of the the coronavirus problem so Anyway, um, first night on trail, we both feel pretty good. A little bit stiff and sore, but that's to be expected. That'll go away after a few days. Day two of a PCT hike. The goalie locks. Ready to get up. All right. Day number two, off to a start. We, uh, we made six miles yesterday, and it's 14 into Lake Morena. Don't think we're going to try and make that today. We're probably going to cut it in half. Um, we wanted to keep our mileage under 10 miles a day, at least for the first week. So uh, it rained almost all night long last night, and we still have some pretty dark clouds out on the horizon there. So hopefully we won't get soaked as we hike today. It really is more beautiful hiking through here than I... Ever would have imagined just from watching all the videos over the years. There's these um, shrubs that are in bloom right now with some kind of a pretty purple blue flower. I have no idea what they are. They don't really seem to have any scent, but they're really pretty. What the hell? Ugh. The thing must be intended for skinnier people than me. I'll leave it open for uh, Goldilocks. She's coming up behind me soon. Okay, right now we're at mile 13.3 at the top of Hauser Canyon getting ready to drop all the way down to the bottom We're gonna get a campsite for the night But I hope I can point it out Where the trail itself is going out the other side there There you can kind of see it zigzags Across this big mountain here zigzags up there and over the top so that's what we have to climb up tomorrow morning to get out of here. So we need a good night's sleep. Okay, 
Somebody who speaks Spanish can probably tell me what that sign says, besides the fact that somebody spray painted PCT on it. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, there's the trail marker for the PCT's trail going that away. 5.1 miles to Lake Marina. Oh, let me check that out. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> 